All right, and we're back a little while later here with one that's labeled as a seven pot. Looks like a red seven to me. Uh, there is some pod variation in in the shape with the seven pot. Uh, I've seen them be more like this. Then you got the ones that are more tapered. But they all look fairly closely related. Um, so I'm going to peel one of these out of the tape here. And we're going to chomp into it. So there's labeled as a red seven pot. Mm-hmm. Really cool. See all that brown placental tissue? Just soaked. Mm-hmm. And extremely sweet. But a little bit. Faintly bitter. Not extremely strong, fruity flavor like with the Naga. Ooh. Ooh. Give me right in the throat. Well, based on that. <clears throat> I'd definitely say they're a red seven. I'm not sure if they're the traditional or if there's some other variation. Definitely a seven pot based on the flavor. Well, all the way down. Very really strong tongue burn. Bottom and top all the way around to the back. A little bit more of a stinging in the throat than with some of the other ones I've tried recently. Not quite as hot as that yellow scorpion last week, or red scorpion rather. Out of all the ones I've tried from Dale here now, and those are definitely the hottest still. They're really hitting me right there in the throat. Wonder if that's a characteristic of all the sevens, or the Trinidad varieties. And they hit right in there. Bit of drool. Warm in the face, up in the forehead. Yeah, really strong, solid, upper mid-level burn, right? Tip of the tongue, all the way across the whole top of the tongue. Into the throat. Throat's kind of dissipating a little bit. Underside of the tongue's got a good sting on it, too. On the sides of my tongue. I can feel my face, just the waves of warmth coming up from inside my head outward. And my face sweating a little bit. Forehead feels really warm. Lots of drew with this one. And my nose is starting to run a little bit. Excuse me. Faint flavor still coming through. It's not as uh, mouth numbing <clears throat> as that Bud Jalokia was. Just a mid coat in the tongue, down into the throat. Definitely more of a throat burn than that Bud Jalokia. I want to say a little more drool too. really sunny all of a sudden
feel in my stomach a little bit now. I think I might go have a snack in a minute. Since I've done four now this morning. In just an hour and a half or so. Yeah, really good burn. Still feel a good amount under the tongue. Top of my tongue. It's starting to move back now, but it's still got on, on the tip of my tongue and at the back. Jawline, like right in here. Inside. Feel a little bit of a tenseness of a sting. Still lots of drool. <clears throat> Sinuses are cleared out. Um, not really any flavor. It's starting to numb the flavor a little bit. Pretty much the only one that this flavor was strong on was this unknown number two, which turned out to be fairly closely related to Naga's. Um, excuse me. So, yeah. Um, Red Sevens from Dale over at Baker's Peppers. Um, I'd say that they're a Red Seven. I'm not sure if they're a variation. Based on the seven pots I've seen, a lot of them look like this. Kind of closely related to Naga, but much more bumpy and mean looking pod uh, skin texture, and there is some variation in the shape. This one looks like it might be a different one, but um, the rest of them have looked pretty much like this. Here's the three that look the most alike. This one and this one <coughs> look fairly close. Uh, this one and the one that I just tried were on the tape together. Uh, and the one I just tried was a more tapered too. They all basically look the same with slight differences. Um, I got a... Looks like I got three more. Uh, we'll see if I do them all today. They're all, they've all been fairly hot so far. Uh, the unknown number two being the mildest and also the most flavorful. Um, so yeah, uh, Red 7 Pot from Baker's Peppers. Uh, definitely a Red 7, and I'm not sure if it was crossed with anything, but it looks pretty true to form for the Red 7s, general classification of shapes, uh, flavor-wise, uh, in that general region. So yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, good stuff, good for spicing up pots of soup and whatnot, I would say definitely, um, not eating them on their own, uh, they're a little too warm for that, for just casual eating, but good flavor, uh, great heat level, and yeah, excellent.